Welcome to the world of Maidborn. We make and sell clothing that looks like it's been your favorite piece for 20 years. A pair of jeans that has been around and worn for 30 years, what did that look like? Can we recreate that by hand so that people can then have that without wearing it for 30 years? We do ready to wear here, cobble shoes. The methods we use to age, uh, metal brushes, sandpaper, the earth, the sun, fire, hand sewn from the cobbler. With our shoes, we bury those in the ground. Um, that's one of the first processes after they're sewn. We'll put worms in some of it and different things. There's, there's a lot of different chemistry and like things you put in and they'll go to the bathroom and like whatever, not disgusting things, but all those ammonias and things create different things to leather. And then we use a lot of fire. We use a lot of torches. We're getting ready to age this indigo cloth shirt. It's like a paintbrush. You obviously, you can't just throw the flame on it because flame and fabric don't react too well together. But when you want to sort of get that old sort of patina and color, it's an amazing thing. And this is as much inspiration as far as what we can do as it is things that people can just take home as well. Tees are $160. We have leather pieces that go up to like $25, $2,600. Anybody can criticize anything that they don't know or understand. And I'm always like, well, then just don't. Then don't buy it. You know, I wasted 10, 15, 20,000 t-shirts getting trying to get it just right. Throwing things in a fire and going, let's see what it does. Dipping something in a bat of tar and like letting it sit in the sun for two days and then throwing that in the fire and see what it does. We've put things into washes and the t-shirt will come out. It's, I mean, it's literally just fibers. I wanted to build a world that I enjoyed and kind of played with people's imaginations. So that's really kind of how this began. So I was very adamant about working in a wheat field. Growing up in Montana, I really wanted this place to have a lot of the roots and things that inspired me. This building you see here was the original schoolhouse from where I grew up in Montana, built in 1860. We make tomahawks and knives. Where that mannequin is right now is actually our sewing wall. I don't look outside the world for much for inspiration. When, when I need inspiration, I actually go to Montana. I go to the mountains and I actually go to the com complete peace and quiet on, by myself. Um, and that's when my brain sort of resets and, and then all those new ideas come.